It is the largest rainforest on Earth. It is responsible for 15% of the world's oxygen. And it is without question one of the most mysterious places on the planet. It is the Amazon. Spanning two and a half million square miles, the Amazon is home to more varieties of fish, plant life, and birds than anywhere else in the world. Some of the most beautiful and unique animals thrive in this rainforest. The pink dolphin, the tapir, and the sloth. Push deeper into this impenetrable jungle and you'll find some of the most dangerous animals as well. Cayman crocodiles, piranha, and the world's most feared snake, the anaconda. Soon, 16 strangers will be abandoned in this oppressive and harsh environment. Torrential thunderstorms will rock this jungle and scorching temperatures will test our survivors like never before. And this time, the game will have a twist unlike anything you've ever seen. How will these 16 strangers survive in this environment? And the bigger question, how will they survive each other? It is the ultimate challenge. Outwit, outplay, outlast, until only one remains and emerges as the sole survivor. Do you want to get in on the survivor action? Then stay tuned for details that could put you in a brand new 2003 Saturn Ion or at the Survivor the Amazon finale and live reunion show this May. But first, let's go to the Amazon and meet the survivors. I think this year's 16 survivors are an awesome group. Very, very different from what we've had in the past very very quirky unusual characters my name is Alex Bell I'm 32 years old live in Los Angeles and I'm a project manager for a nonprofit in a lot of ways I'm just an average guy but uh, I'm also a really competitive person and uh, I'm a lot of fun I'm pretty spontaneous so I'll, I'll check out just about anything because of my very you know, experiences growing up, I'm pretty adaptable and I can get along with just about anybody and, and uh, I adapt to new and different situations pretty easily, make friends really easily because I've never lived anywhere more than three years of my whole life. I've been sober now for 11 years. I got sober uh, six days after I turned 21. Uh, I started off drinking and doing drugs at a really young age and um, was kind of a mess. It was a huge mess actually. and. Um, and just at, at 21 years old, decided, like, literally I woke up one morning and I, I just didn't want to do it anymore. I just didn't want to live that way anymore. I was tired of it. There's not much that I, that I come across that I think will stop me. I mean, I've, I've been through enough in my life that day-to-day that -day stuff, even when it's bad, even when it's horrible, when I'm having the worst day, you know, that I can remember, I can always think back and go, yeah, it's not all that bad, really. <laughs> My name is Heidi Strobel and I'm 24. I'm a physical education teacher and health teacher uh, in Elba, Missouri. I would describe myself as very, very sweet and kind, but also I'm very athletic and competitive. I think what my appeal is is that I am so goofy. I've got like a great sense of humor. I never take myself too seriously, you know, and um, you know, just finding that in people and that you're intelligent usually don't go along too well, <laughs> you know. So I have both of those going for me. I do a million and one things at all times. I mean, I am go, 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 go all the time. And when I don't get all of those tasks done in one day, oh, I just lose it. It makes me feel like I'm not a competent person anymore. I am my own worst enemy. That is the bad side to me because I am a perfectionist at everything. And so I like try to outdo myself all the time. And when you fail at that, you get really down. I mean, that is my bad side. Hi, I'm Dina Bennett. I am 35 years old. I am from Riverside, California. I am a deputy district attorney. People say that I am, I want to say balls to the wall, very emotionally high strung, out there, 120 miles an hour with my panties on fire. That's the way that I operate. I think I was born type A personality, uh, very involved in sports, like what I do, and I think that this area of, uh, of the law is, is well suited to my personality. My father was a uh, LAPD officer for 31 years. My grandfather was in the Marine Corps for 31 years. Obviously, I come from a very uh, long line of law enforcement type individuals. I just wanted to make more money. <laughs> so I went into uh, criminal prosecution. 
I have a, a mental toughness and an edge that has come along with the job, and there isn't any situation that I can imagine that I'm not prepared to handle uh, because I think that a good portion of this game is mental. Can I handle the rigors of, of starving to death and being in a world where they want to eat you? Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm 23 years old from Ellicott City, Maryland, and I'm a model. The best way to describe myself, I'd say I have a lot of character, um, but I'm definitely one in a million. <laughs> Not to sound conceited or cliche, but no, it's definitely true. I just I have my own little personality and my own little sense of humor. I'm very unique in the sense I think I can be put in a room with anybody and get along. I'm pretty outgoing, so I'm not gonna I'm not the shy type. The biggest thing for me is you know keep everything in check and be more of a listener than a talker. Because people that know me, I'm a pretty compulsive talker. My leadership role is, is tough. I mean, because everybody here is a leader, and it's like I mean, if you're the one that's like I guess loud and too abrasive at first, you're sent packing. Is a big difference watching people on TV, sitting in your refrigerator, you know, eating a bunch of donuts and drinking some Diet Coke and watching on TV and be like, ah, come on, why'd you, why would you do that? It's, it's completely different when you're out here. It's like, it's a shell shock. That's the one thing I can say. Hi, I'm Rob Sistrino. I'm a 24-year-old project coordinator from Wonton, New York. People say that I'm a crazy, outrageous guy who sometimes can be a real jerk and the kind of guy that was born to play a game like this. I think I probably got to be such a funny guy because probably when I was growing up I don't think a lot of people liked me so I guess getting to be funny is a way to get people to like you if uh, they don't like you otherwise. I can do it all. I, impressions, uh, dry, dry humor, low brow, high brow. There's no aspect of humor that I can't uh, come across. Fortunately, I can back up all the comedy and hijinks with some really high-class shenanigans and really some great ways to outwit, outplay, and outlast. Hi, I'm Jean Hebert. I'm 40 years old. I live in North Attleboro, Massachusetts. I have three children. I'm a director of marketing. I'm here now because I love adventure and I really think I'm going to grow as a person, and um, I think I'm in my prime of my life. I mean, I've, I've got so much more going for me with my life experiences, and I think um, it's made me tough, focused, determined, and um, I think it's an unbelievable opportunity. The best way to describe myself, I would say I'm very energetic, um, low maintenance, um, a lot of fun, and uh, very positive. I have a very positive outlook on life. I'm always looking for adventure. I mean, people always say, what are you doing? What are you up to now, Jean? Because they know that I, I just don't sit around. I, I go after things. The very first time I decided I wanted to apply, I sat the whole family down and I said, if I apply, I know I'm going to get it. And I want you all to commit yourselves to it. Because if I commit myself, I need your support. Now, they, of course, don't know I'm here. So, but I think later on, they'll appreciate it. And uh, I think they'll think I'm cool. Hi, my name is Dave Johnson from Pasadena, California. I'm 23 years old and a rocket scientist. And the chicks dig me because I'm a rocket scientist. I'd like to think that, that whenever you're hanging out with Dave Johnson, you can always expect some kind of spontaneity and a random adventure and a great time. I think it's very funny to, to keep on hearing about how the audience is going to perceive me being a rocket scientist and all this stuff. It, it's, it's something that I don't wake up every morning thinking about. Um, and, you know, I, I really haven't thought much about it. You know, I'm not here for the audience. I'm not here for the fame. You know, like I said, I'm here for the adventure. You know, to have an experience like this where you go out, clean slate with, with new people and uh, an untouched area, um, you know, you leave the luxuries of, uh, of modern life behind and, and see if you can make it on your own. You know, it's, I love the challenge. I love the adventure. And this is about as it goes it gets for all those aspects. <laughs> Well, my name is Janet Coates. I'm 46 years old. I'm married for 23 years, and I've got two daughters, two teenage daughters. I come from Manchester, Missouri. That's a suburb of St. Louis. I'm mostly a homemaker. I am a registered nurse, and I do that a little bit. I'm also a travel agent, and I do that a little bit. I do a lot of things on the side. I do some motivational speaking. I do a lot of volunteer work at church and school. And basically, I'm a homemaker. 
my life is pretty typical, I think. I, you know, I'm just, I'm a middle-aged, middle American, middle-income homemaker. I think that I have the life that many other people have, um, many other women have, and uh, I don't think there's really particularly anything too unusual about my life, except that I'm standing here. Oh, well, if there's going to be drama, it, 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 it's something in my camp. Oh, yes, I'm probably going to be right in the middle of it. I, I like it, and I think that I can play whatever part I think needs to be played at that moment. Hi, I'm Butch Lockley. I'm 50 years old. I'm a middle school principal. I'm from Alney, Illinois. My stress levels get real high during the day, but I've also learned that um, you have to take the good with the bad, and, and you also have to... Um, uh, not get too high on your wins. This is an old basketball coach. You don't get too high on your wins or too low on your losses. You got to kind of keep an even keel. And that's what I try to do. Even though some days are more stressful than others, every day is a good day. I started playing this game three months ago, and I have prepared mentally. I prepared physically. I've covered about every possible scenario that there could possibly be in this game. I love the challenge of the unknown, and I like to pressure the situation. Pressure brings out the best of people. And this show, Survivor, brings out the best of, uh, of the contestants. Hey, my name is Daniel. And I'm a 26-year-old tax accountant from Houston, Texas. I'm very driven. I mean, if there's something I want, there's nothing that can stop me from getting it. Um, like I said before, I was 4 foot 10 and 98 pounds, you know, when I was 14. So, you know, I decided to change, change that, you know. I said, you know, if I can get it, if I can envision it, then I can get it. And, you know, a lot of people doubted me. People said, you know, I don't think you can do it. I mean, it's just not within your genetics, you know. Chinese people just aren't that big. You know, even Bruce Lee, he was a skinny guy. He was very muscular, but he was, wasn't big. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to those people because I know, you know, I know what I'm capable of. And just throughout the years, just uh, hard work and knowing that I can get it if I want it bad enough and, and got what I wanted. It was definitely di difficult growing up as an Asian. I'll tell you that much because uh, even though I'm born and raised in the U.S., people still see me as an outsider. I mean, even without saying a word, they say, well, he's a Chinese guy, so he must be different. And, um, and through that, I really learned how to adapt to my surroundings and how to blend in with the people around me. And that's why I would be great for this show. Hi, I'm Shauna. I'm 23 years old and I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area. I am working there as an outdoor retail or outdoor sales associate. Mental physical health is my primary concern in life. I absolutely adore sound mind, sound body, get so into it. I love a good challenge. Limited food, hot humidity, who knows? You know, I've done it before though where you run out of food and you're running around for about a week. Um, this is different because I'm not with friends, I'm with 16 strangers who I'm sure are very different than me because that's the way they pick them. I'm going to be a lieutenant. I'm going to be a worker bee. I have no problem getting my hands dirty, blistered, whatever. That's not an issue. I'm not the typical girl in the fact that I love mud. I love like anything that has to do with just like a good workout. Um, so that's where I'm going to shine through. Hopefully, it's just executing tasks, taking the lessons, and uh, forming personal alliances rather than strategic alliances. The one thing I have to remember is that you obviously can't take this personally, the game, and so. You know, I know that this is going to show some of my ugliest sides, but I also know that the same for the others, so you got to give them room, and hopefully they'll give me room. Hi, I'm Jenna from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I'm a swimsuit model. I would describe myself as a really fun person. Um, I'm honest. If you ask me a question and I give you an answer you don't like, then you shouldn't ask me in the first place because I'm going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not because I just don't care. I think that with, you know, youth comes versatility and a lot more strength. I hate to say that because I don't want to, you know, discriminate against anybody, but I'm assuming some people will think I'm a mature kid, but, you know, they'll be wrong. I hope that I appeal to a large audience. I'm, I'm thinking that I might appeal to the younger, the younger group of viewers because that's usually who I tend to look at more when I'm watching the show. But um, I'm thinking maybe I'll get a few more male viewers just because I'm in a bikini and you know guys like chicks in bikinis but that's fine I don't care that's my job so I do it every day and I've been in national magazines you know so you have to be ready for that kind of exposure and you know know what you have and use it <laughs> hi I'm Roger Sexton 
a 56-year-old vice president of a construction company from Valencia, California. Well, I think the whole reason that I'm here is I told everybody from the get-go that I've been very disappointed in the old guys they've had on the show, save for Rudy. Rudy was, he was absolutely perfect. But since then, and even on that show, the guys they've had are just a bunch of wusses. And like you said earlier, I'm a 56-year-old guy that doesn't look like I'm 56. I've had a lot of experience. I'm very physically capable. These young macho guys, I think I can outperform them, quite frankly. I'm very intense, very competitive, and at the same time, I'm a fairly emotional guy. This is a game, uh, and I love this game, and I, I want to come out here and prove something. It's more to prove something to myself. Hello, my name is Christy. I'm from Colorado. I'm 24. My former job was a children's, okay, children's outdoor adventure guide with hearing deaf children. I'm deaf. I was born deaf. I grew up all, went to a deaf school, learned signs, and here I am. I'm a survivor. I think I have um, charisma. I think I have that just that confidence in myself to think I can do anything. I mean, my whole life I've been up front with challenges through every day. So I feel this is just another challenge that I have to get through. And I think that's what made me get here. My strong point in competing in Survivor is that I'm very positive. I don't give up. Um, I'm easily, I can adjust to different environments, so I think I can handle the Amazon. <laughs> we'll see about that. Um, I'm good with people. I think that if my team accepts me, then I'll go all the way. Born on a farm, but went to culinary school in Paris spent six years working in Asia, speaks a couple foreign languages. That was my angle. And I, those guys took the bait, I set the hook, and here I am. My philosophy has always been life is like a sponge. You have to soak up as much as you can as you go. Being in the jungle, surviving in the jungle, um, confronting those challenges head on, um, I've always relished. And when I heard there was a show that would finance my next jungle adventure, I said, I got to do it. And when I saw the first episode, and when my parents and friends saw the first episode, they all contacted me and said, hey, this show was made for you, Matthew. I am going to be an actor. Um, I'm going to try to maintain my sense of integrity um, my, and my morality in the beginning, um, because I think it's important if I can gain people's trust, then I can do what I want with it. Scarcity of food lack of shelter sometimes, lack of protection, you know, just very basically out there to fend for yourself. It's the environment which I grew up in and been a survivor all my life. I'm just thankful that you guys created this show. Yes, God will be with me during Survivor. He'll give me protection and direction and comfort and peace and joy. He's going to be my provider. Don't go away. There are more Survivor stories coming up. Introducing the Saturn Ion, specifically designed and engineered for whatever's next. I think everybody 
coming in has to strategy uh, what they hope to achieve and what they hope how things pan out. Goal number one, don't piss people off in the beginning. <laughs> play well with others, play nice. I'm a rookie like you've never seen. I'm so young, but that's okay because, and that's the thing, like I can't take a leading role. There's no way some 46 year old man's gonna be like, sweet, I'm listening to her. <laughs> like, I don't think there's a right way to play the game. I think it depends on, on who's there and what the, uh, what the situation is. You cannot come into this game thinking that the same thing is going to happen that happened last game because that's not going to be true. Some people are better suited to a game like this because they don't have any morals. They don't have any ethics. I'll manipulate, I'll lie, I'll backstab. I mean, it's the name of the game. I have to be a little bit slippery, you know, a little bit eely. Um, then I'll do it, you know, whatever it takes. Other people know no other way to think other than, no, you go first. Let me help you. I think people genuinely want to think that there are good people out there that really do mean well, that don't always put themselves first. And I really am one of those people. With kind of like my amiable disposition, I think that uh, people want to have me around. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. They may not like me at all. <laughs> In that case, they'll throw me away. We have some ladies that are going to do a great job of manipulating their tribe. Very, very well versed in being cutthroat because, like I said, I've done many pageants, swimsuit competitions, and there's nothing like the competitive edge for people at those competitions. And we have some guys that cannot wait to test their manipulation skills. The only three rules are outwit, outlast, and outplay. So, other than that, everything else is fair game. Sometimes I'll be really naive. Sometimes I'll be an absolute idiot. Sometimes I'll be a leader. Sometimes I'll be a follower. I'm going to be a chameleon. You see it every season. These people watch the show season after season after season, and you'd think they could write a textbook and say, here are the 10 things you don't want to do. I have to sit back because I'm always, I always take control, and I don't want to be that leader right away. Yeah, I am a take charge type of guy. I want things done right now, uh, and I don't want to mess around with it. The biggest problem in my personality is uh, my command uh, in any, any situation. I, I cannot sit back. I'm certainly not one-dimensional. On the outside it's all fun and games and jokes and having a good time, but on the inside I am a cold, calculating, manipulative player who's dying to vote these other 15 jerks back home to the United States. The food uh, pickings are pretty slim. The food doesn't bother me. Um, I've seen how athletic people eat. They consume massive amounts of calories. They have to because they work it off. Uh, as far as I know, I don't have an athletic bone in my body. Therefore, because of my slow metabolism, I require very little food. I don't think that food is going to be an issue for me at all. After sweating, you know, out here for a couple of days, I think I've already lost, you know, another six or seven pounds. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to wither away but I'm going to wither away gracefully. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not the one with the highest metabolism on the show, and I think that's really going to help me. I can go a long period without a lot of food. You adapt just like the people who live here in this particular region. They adapt it to whatever they have to do, the rainfall, the six-month rainfall, the six-month dry season. You just adapt because you have to live above all. You have to choose life. The thing that is really freaking me out right now is the whole water factor. It just, I thought I would be somewhere that's on a beach environment where, in, like most beaches, you can swim in the water. <laughs> but that is highly unrecommended here, and that just seriously freaks me out. I don't think uh, 39 days is going to be that taxing on me. I'm worried about being a little hungry, but... Your body can live without that. You just got to use your mind. I can taste victory. <laughs> I'm confident. you got to be confident. I just think I'm just as good as anybody else. I've kept that as my attitude throughout my whole life, and I've, I've gone places with it. Yeah, I think I can win the game. And no, I don't think I can win the game. I wanted to, to enjoy the adventure and to meet some people and have a good time. And, you know, if I, if I win, fantastic. You know, one's, you know there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with winning. What I'm going to do if I win a million dollars is hang out with a lot of hot girls. I think I'm going to be the, the perfect survivor uh, for a biased reason. I think that I feel that I have this logical, rational, um, common, collected thought process. Um, I hope I can get as far as I can and not just give up and leave, like, get voted out as soon as possible. Like, I want a chance. I'm looking forward to um, being able to experience the show and the whole environment and winning the money. <laughs> Nobody's better than me. Um, 
That's just the way I feel. One of us from this tribe is going to be the ultimate survivor. I think I got this thing already wrapped up. You might as well hand the check over right now because I've already beaten these guys. This is going to be a cakewalk, in my opinion. Stay tuned for the Survivor's audition tapes. Now that you've gone inside the tribe, log on to cbs.com slash win an ion for your chance to get inside a new Saturn Ion or into the audience at the Survivor Amazon Finale and Live Reunion Show. Just submit your name and address along with the following password, Soul Survivor, and you could win. And while you're online, be sure to check out the Survivor Fantasy Game sponsored by Saturn on cbs.com slash survivor. Hi, how you doing? My name is Ryan Aiken. I'm 23 years old. I'm a male model from Baltimore, Maryland. And you're looking at the next survivor. I've mastered the art of hunting and catching my own food. Well, it's week four and my clothes are really worn, so I had to make them out of my own plants nearby. Well, it's week five, the final week, and I have made it. I've made my own shelter, my own clothes, and found my own food. And look, the outfit's kind of cute. <laughs> Well, what if your wife and children think about you running around in a throw outfit? Well, after all these years, they're used to it. Place me under arrest? Yeah. Oh no! You can, oh, oh! I'm an endangered species! You can't hurt me! I am the survivor monster! I feel like I am a positive part of hearing role model that can build bridges between the hearing and the deaf community. Roger Sexton, the 55 year old survivor of the mic. Hi, my name is Heidi Strobel. I'm getting ready to ride my way into your heart and through the competition. I'm a 22 year old internet projects coordinator from Wantown, New York, and I would love to play your game. I was recently selected as one of People Magazine's top 50 most eligible bachelors for 2002. Oh! Hey! Welcome there. We didn't see you. My name is Deputy DA Dina Bennett. This is my friend, Kara Zachary Paul Bennett. Zachary Paul Bennett. Welcome to our backyard. In beautiful Riverside County. Southern California, where there's sea and sand. Do you see the sea and the sand? No, because we live in California. In the desert. And you know why we would make the ultimate survivors? Because we hunt for wild animals. I think I see one. I think I see one. survivors why we would be good contestants oh, uh, for the fame for the fortune no because mommy needs a weight loss program I'm sure you're gonna miss one of those by going on that island but uh doesn't matter to me because the woods suit me just fine i got lots of get done today so uh, i'm pretty busy but i just i definitely want to talk to you guys tell you guys a little bit about myself um my name's alex i work for leukemia and lymphoma society uh, the campaign manager for the triathlon program. Now, you guys come along inside. We get this thing done. Come on in. What a bore. You probably drive a van. I do, but you know what? I am so much fun. I am Mean Gene, the Survivor Machine. In my selection for Survivor, right here. No one looks better in a bathing suit than me. Thanks for watching this inside look. Find out who will be the sole survivor on Survivor Amazon, coming this February, only on CBS.
introducing the Saturn Ion, specifically designed and engineered for whatever's next. Amazing.